Welcome. We're going to have a little poetry on the porch today. My name is Becky Burks and I am communications coordinator with Appalachian Electric Cooperative. Now, while most people wouldn't necessarily think of electric co-ops as a topic that inspires poetry, I have written a poem on that very subject in appreciation and in celebration of the special communities we serve and that we call home here in this part of East Tennessee. On the occasion of AEC's 80th anniversary, it sort of felt to me like we deserved a poem. What we do merits that kind of tribute. And I'd never heard one before, so I just decided to write one. It's called A Poem for Co-ops, and here it is. Somebody else gets the cities. So be it. Ours is a slower, simpler world of wide open spaces. We get the back roads and the fence rows. We get early morning meadows and bib overalls worn until they're soft. We claim hay bales and tire swings and dew covered spider webs built between strands of rusty barbed wire. We get deer at dusk and looking for crawdads in the creek and baby calves in the spring. We get front porches and old tractors and the old men who drive them. Ours too is suburbia. We claim the backyards and the subdivisions. We get swing sets and cul-de-sacs and into the driveway basketball goals in use until it's too dark to see. We get wading pools and yard sales and kids learning to ride a bike. We get school buses driving slow through shaded streets, garage bands full of noisy ambition, and front lawn nativity scenes handed down through the years. Last but not least, America's small towns are ours. We get main streets, coffee shops, and graceful old courthouses. We get barber shops and high school football and 4th of July parades. We claim the one traffic light towns and always seeing someone you know at the grocery store and church not just on Sundays but on Wednesday nights too. Our poles line the gravel roads. Our meters are on the hardware stores, the elementary schools, the local salons that are still called beauty shops. Our distribution lines connect to the dairy barns, the drive-ins, and the two-pump gas stations. And when storms roll through, our crews head out to the neighborhoods and farms and communities that we are proud to call our own. These places have blessed us and they have shaped who we are. We claim this land and these people. We draw our strength from them and look to them as our reason for being. They are worthy of our very best. We are co-ops. These places are ours.